Good morning, stampers and crafters. Well, I I have a kind of a special treat for you today. Um, you know the new mini catalog and the celebration are coming out. And as demonstrators, we're able to pre-order already. You will be able to start pre-ordering in July or, you know, ordering out of them in July. Um, so, you know, if you are one of my customers that has ordered in the past six months, I have sent these catalogs to you. Um, if you didn't get one, please, you know, email me or message me and I'll make sure you get one. I cannot open the catalogs and show them to you, but what I can do is show you the haul of stuff I've received already. And then when we're done, we're going to do a quick little card with one of my favorite sets already, which is, and we'll start with it, Kindest Gnomes. Are these guys not adorable? Who doesn't love gnomes? Little mushroom house, some adorable greetings. It comes with coordinating dies, cuts them out. Also got a little beard and a hat and little mushrooms. Little you can create a little gnome. It also comes with in the suite um, designer paper that is so cute. And the dies and I'm and I'm already going to tell you I don't have one or two of the sheets already because I've already die cut them. So it has. Let me find the die cuts. What I do when, when we get paper like that, that our dies coordinate with it and it'll cut them out, is I go ahead and I cut them out and then I just put them in a little plastic clear envelope and keep it with the stamp set. That way they're all done. So that paper had all these little mushrooms on it. So I went ahead and die cut all the little mushrooms and then I was, of course, playing with my gnomes, coloring them different colors and stuff like that. And I'll just put them in the same clear envelope so that I have them when I go to use the set. We will be doing um, a cute little gnome card and uh, as soon as we're done here. So this set comes with DSP um, dies, little embellishments that match these fine sparkle adhesive as you can see i would just go into town um but the paper is so adorable you know stampin up has really come a long way with their paper to, in my opinion one of these sheets i went ahead and fussy cut all the animals out so i only have one of that look at that beautiful color oh just love it Little gnomes in the woods. Some more little gnomes. Little page of mushrooms. And the colors on it, I don't know if you know that, but on the back of your paper that you get, it'll say all the colors that are included in that designer paper. And this one's got a lot. Balmy blue, basic black, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral. Early Espresso, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Soft Suede. Oh my gosh, covers anything you need. So anyway, I went ahead and, and uh, already cut out a bunch of that and put it in with my stamp set. And then, like I said, I take a clear envelope and I put all my little cutouts in there. So this is all those little deer and the fox. And then I have my gnomes and my mushrooms and another one. And then I just keep it in my case to be used. So I'm going to show you a few more things. And then we're going to make this cute little gnome card. And we're going to do a cute little trick. Remember puff paint? Oh my god, puff paint's back. I love it. So what I thought of, why don't I put puff paint on his beard? Look at that. He has a puffy, textured, uh, I don't know if that's showing. Come on, camera, focus. It's so cute. So I use puff paint on his beard. So we're going to make a cute little gnome card when we're done here. I just want to share a couple of the things I got. 
Where do we start? My goodness, I love this catalog. So to start with, in toward the back is, I haven't even put it together yet. My order, this is my second order that arrived yesterday, but it's got a planner. And oh my gosh, this is well made. Um, as you see, it's got a little divider sheet with the flowers. It's got all the planner pages and the dividers for you. Wow, it's it's pretty cool. I can't wait to use it. Maybe I'll get a little more organized. And it also comes with a stamp set that you can put, you know, things to keep track of called making plans. And that's in the planner set. Okay, let's pull out some stamp sets. Oh my gosh, you guys. I went crazy. I went crazy, crazy. Did I? I did. Look at this. All right. Seal of approval. This is like a two-step. It's going to be colored. He'll probably be my, I must say, maybe my third set I'm going to play with. The next set I'm going to play with, Santa's Delivery. Look at this. He's in a little train. But wait, it gets better. There's coordinating paper. Let me grab the paper. Oh. So... I'll be doing that with this one. It comes with coordinating dies. Okay, these are photopolymer of the little Santa set and coordinating dies. Of course, these dies coordinate with the paper. So I'll be cutting out a bunch of little trains and things like that. Let me see if I can pull this one out of here. I keep mine in a 12 by 12 binder, that's why it's so clear. So we've got this adorable paper. We got Santa and, and Mrs. Santa. You know, the only thing I don't like about designer paper is I hate having to choose which side I want to use. Don't you? I mean, there are cards out there we can do that we can utilize both sides and boy I need to do that look at that beautiful red and it says fa la 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 on it and then you've got some more of the little train which will coordinate with the die little packages some ho ho ho's oh my goodness so I'm going to say this will be my second set that I'm going to play with and this right here, I just love. I love this sheet. And little snowy trees. Oh my gosh, and the colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh, little scenes. You can put your little train going across there. Isn't that adorable? So that little Santa's delivery set does have coordinating paper. Oh my gosh, let me set this aside. So we got the little train set. Then we have North Pole Mischief. Oh my goodness. The little dog wrapping up the cat. These are fun color ones for me. And this is called North Pole Mischief. This is a regular rubber, red rubber stamp one. How adorable. Oh, I have so many friends I know that's gonna get one of these for Christmas. Okay. And what do we got? Oh, Caroling Mice. This is a hostess set. Okay. And you do a, a, a $150 order. You can get this at a discount as a host. When you do a show or your own order. Aren't they adorable? Caroling Mice. All right. What are we going to ask? Oh, okay. This will be in my top five all bundled up look at the moose the moose has a hat on too adorable so i love that one what do we got next all right oh my goodness we have this beautiful uh palm tree seasons greeting even for this one it's got happy birthday i love the font it's got some uh you know uh Oh, I just lost the name. Uh, the stamp is 
uh, oh, I just lost the name. I know I'll think of it later. It's got a little pelican and some seashells. Tropical Christmas right there. So we got that one. Then we've got Celebration. This comes in the Celebration catalog. For every $50 order that you do, you qualify for a Celebration item. And there are some celebration items, which is the small catalog. Okay, it's it's this is your celebration catalog. Okay, and this is only good for a month. Okay, from first July to thirty first of August. So you have plenty of time to earn every everything in here. For every fifty dollar order, you can or fifty dollars, you can choose one. They have a couple of them in here. If you do a hundred dollar order you can earn something there so that is one of the celebration aspen trees i haven't even opened this but look at this it's a beautiful little bird but you know what we got to open these dies i'm di these just came in my order yesterday let's see if we can see what they look like but if i recall it's got some tree line dies. Okay, it's got six dies. Oops. Oh, look at that tree line die and a tree there. Oh, and then you can cut out the bird. Look at those leaves. What a beautiful fall set this would do. This would do some beautiful fall leaves. And it goes with the bundle of Perched in a Tree. Look at the beautiful font on that. The camera's kind of glaring off the plastic on here. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, can't wait to play with that one. So that is the Perched in a Tree bundle. Let's see, what else do we got here? All right, we got Wonderful World. Now, this is one of the celebration you can earn also. I think you have to have... Let me check real quick, but I think that one is a uh, $100. With a $100 purchase, you get this plus a beautiful packet of designer paper that comes with it. So with a hundred dollar purchase, let's take a look at this paper. You get this awesome stamp set. Oh, look at this paper, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, we'll be cutting out some of those flowers. Look at the colors. Wow. Oh, look at that. Ooh, some bright yellows and purples. Look at the colors in that. We're going to have to see what colors it is. Okay, love that. Got some pinks and purples. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look vintage to you? That looks vintage to me. Mm -mm -mm. This is one of those papers you hate to use both sides. Or one side. Oh, wow, look at those. Oh, yeah, we'll be cutting out some of those. So that comes as a bundle with this stamp set. And it's got Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid o Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, who doesn't love anything that's got that in it, Sahara Sand, and Starry Sky. Wow. Just wow. So you get all that paper and the stamp set how cool is that all right gets better sweet candy canes okay this you're gonna love it watch gets better boom it's got dies coordinating dies so it's got the candy canes look at the background die stripes Oh my goodness, how cool is that? It's got a tag die, some leaves, some candy canes. Let's see what we got here. 
Christmas cheer. It's got some great sentiments for inside and out. Little mistletoe there. But guess what? Gets better. It's a sweet. So that means booyah comes with some coordinating paper. Let's see what this one looks like. It's been Christmas at my house all week because I got I I did one pre-order. All right, I was being very good, and then I looked through the catalog again and I couldn't stand it. I did another pre-order the same day. All right, look at this, and I'll bet I will bet you that our dies will coordinate. Boom, they coordinate with the paper. Love when they do that, don't you? You can just cut out a bunch of candy canes and put them in the envelope and then you have them to use. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, got the good traditional colors on this one. Oh, look how good this will go with that background dye. That uh, diagonal background dye. Of course, you can't have Christmas without red and white polka dots. Green and white polka dots. Ooh, some more candy canes. Wow. Some more stripes. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh. So that is in the candy cane suite. I almost think it also has... I don't remember which suite without opening the catalog. And I can't really do that on camera. I can't show you the inside of the catalog. But some of the bling that come in those sweets, iridescent trim. Look how pretty that is. It's kind of a, it looks like a braided rope. Let's see if I can open it. Oh. Oh, come on. Open. Look at that rope. It's like a braid and blingy. Love, love. Okay, so we got that. We got this beautiful, um, I want to say that is balmy blue. It's like a metallic balmy blue and white. Love that. Of course, we've got our traditional red and green. I bet, I'm almost going to bet that's garden green and probably real red. Gotta have it. What's this one? This one is a metallic. Oh, it looks like a. Let's see if it's a. Yep, it's rose gold and white. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. And it's wide. Nice and wide. So we got that. Okay, these are cute. You're gonna like this. You know how you get some of the embellishments and they're just too thick for your cards? I mean, especially when you're trying to mail for Christmas. They came out with these. Let's see if I can grab one. They're little jingle bells, but they're flat. Look, they're not that thick. So you have these beautiful brass little jingle bells. Aren't those cool? So I got some of those, of course. Now a lot of these will come in the suite. And I like buying sweets. I know some people don't. But you know what? It takes the guesswork out of it for me. It takes the guesswork out of what paper I want to go with what, what embellishments I want, because they coordinate all that for you. I love doing sweets. And I know a lot of people don't. You know, it's too much. But in the long run, it really isn't. So let's see what else did we get. Okay. We have our Santa's Express. We already looked at that one. Got our candy cane paper that goes with candy canes. Okay, what did I miss? Oh, hey, got a bunch under here. Don't want to miss it. Oh, so this is one, I think. Let me check. I think it's. Uh, free with a uh, $50 order. Um, ma, 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 ma. 
Yes, for the $50 order, look at these. Oh my gosh. I think these are mallards, but I'm pretty sure you could probably turn them into anything you want. A little fox. I love this kind of sketchy stuff. You know, it, it uh, you can just stamp it plain, maybe highlight it if you want to with something, but it does all the work for your, your cards. Oh, perfect pomegranate. Now this is a celebration host set, which means, let me see, let me um, be clear on this. So if you have a $300 party or order, then you get this free, okay? Just make sure you put it in your order because you'll you'll earn that free with the three hundred dollar in celebrations. And let's see what else do we got. What else? What else? Okay, jingle jingle jingle. Holly balling. Believe this goes with everything I just showed you. You can use this on anything. You can do your candy canes. Just perfect. Just perfect. And this is just the. Um, stamp set just the photopolymer and look how nice and big those are look how big that is awesome so they're they're a little bit bigger than what they, they show out here see they're nice and big love that is that showing up but look compared to my hand that's a card done for you so we got that one what else did we get what 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 I've been playing, so I have this stuff strewn every... Oh, here's another celebration item. This is... It's called Rings of Love 12 by 12 paper. And it does... Uh, it coordinates with the Ringed in Nature uh, bundle that's that's in the, the mini catalog. So there's a Rings of Nature. I didn't get that one yet. It's got some a beautiful little tree set. But look at this beautiful paper. I mean, you can use this for any occasion. Christmas, birthday, anything. Fall, look at that, some acorns. Beautiful fall. Oh, okay, I really like that. That's going to be one of those I don't like to use both sides. Oh my goodness. Look at the little... Oh, love that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to hate to use both sides of that. Or one side of it. This would go with your bird set that we just looked at. I like when they come out with paper that would go with a bunch of stuff. Absolutely love it. You know what this looks like? That looks like the rock salt that you do when you're doing watercoloring. You watercolor and then you sprinkle rock salt on your wet watercolor paint and that's what it does. Boy, they're taking away all the techniques. Oh, look at this. How adorable is that? Oh, houses. Oh, man. Oh, there's your rings, your tree rings. Oh, and the mushrooms. See, that'll go with the mushrooms right there. will go with your gnomes. See, this goes with a lot of stuff. I like it when they do that. Look at those mushrooms. I love them. And then you got, um, almost looks like poinsettias. And then you got trees that'll go with the perched in a tree set. So this package, Rings of Love, will kind of go with almost every set that's in the mini. So this is something that you can you earn free in celebrations with a $50 order. And then you've got paper to go with everything in the mini catalog. Let me put this back in here. I got paper and things strewn about everywhere. And we're going to make a card here in a minute. Then we get... Oh my gosh, look at this. This is celebrating everything. What catalog is this in? But look how much paper that is. Oh my gosh. It will go with everything. Yeah, 
it will and it's it is this one I'm pretty sure is in the mini catalog I guess I should have looked that stuff up shouldn't I but you know what I was so excited to get on here and show you all my haul I think I'm missing some stuff but this will get you started oh my gosh all right Boom. let's make a card all right we're gonna make a card let me move all my stuff out of the way here I'll just push it to the side and sort it I'll be doing some cutting out some DSPs and stuff today we are going to use our little gnomes the kindest gnomes and remember I told you I went ahead and I die cut all of my little mushrooms and then I did stamp a few of them like a lot of times I'll stamp the images and play with them this is with that parakeet party isn't that pretty I love that green so we are going to grab a mushroom out of here let's pick let's pick a red mushroom and let's see how quick and easy you can make a card when you you're able to just die cut everything and then I've got my little critters I'm gonna go ahead and keep those in my alrighty so when I'm doing we're gonna do this little guy but with a red mushroom when I'm doing what I call basically a single layer sort of card I like to use the thick basic white so we're gonna use the thick basic white for our card base here Pardon me a minute. I need to put on my gloves so I can get my hand to work right. All right. So we've got our card base. We've got our mushroom. Now we're going to color a little gnome. And remember I told you I stamped a bunch. And then I cut them out. If you don't feel like coloring them on the DS on the designer paper there's also a bunch of gnomes you can die cut so they're already done for you and you can just doink and you're done but we're going to cover this little gnome because I want to show you this fun little trick I'm going to do with puff paint just make the deep talk so there it's just a quick way to be ready to go all right, let's color up the so note. So I'm going to go ahead and use, sorry, I'm going to use our sweet sorbet, and then I usually use a little bit of dark, um, dark real red, just to add a few more dark accents. Let me see if I can zoom in here for you. Let's zoom in a little bit, so if I can move us over a little. okay so we have our little gnome here and i'm going to take my dark dark real red and i'm going to lay out what i call lay out your your map your road map so we're going to take our darkest areas and i'm going to make some creases in his hat so by doing that we're just going to add a few little dark areas here and now he's holding his hat up so what we want to do is show that that's folded a little and that's all you've got to do to do that okay and we'll add a little more dark accent there for folds maybe the top is caved in a little bit add another little fold right there kind of do a little kind of a little v is all you need to do and a little accent there now the underside of his hat is going to be mm, the darkest. I don't know that one. So we got the underside of his hat. Maybe his beard to sh shade in his belly a little there. Can have a little shade along his beard here, and maybe just a little bit on his sleeve. Okay. So that was our dark real red, and we set our road map. Now we'll grab our dark sweet sorbet. 
and we're going to go over those same lines but just bring them out a little bit so you're just blending it out you're going right over it and just coming out just a little bit further These guys are really quick and easy to color. So now we'll grab our light sweet sorbet. And we're gonna go over the whole thing. Blend it all together. So all we're doing is we're filling in everything now and blending out our dark shadows that we made. Got his little belly here. Now what I'm going to do, just remember I taught you in my Stampin' Blends course, my six part course, I'm going to take the color lifter and all I'm going to do is accent just a couple of those high spots of the folds of his hat. Just go over it maybe one or two times in your lightest area. Just touch it, touch your marker to it just a couple times and be done. Okay. And all that does is kind of add accent to his hat see how his hat's folded right there that's it that's all you gotta do so now let's color his little shoes and i'm going to use number 200 and number 600 of our naturals so i'm going to take my darkest which is 200 i'm going to outline his little shoe edge maybe a couple little random lines there just to add a little bit of texture to those and we'll take our number 600 and fill it in these little guys are quick quick to paint okay I'm gonna take a little bit of my light sweet sorbet and just do his mouth that's it that's all we're gonna do there we're going to use number 1,000 of our naturals and do his skin, his little nose, right where his eyes are, and his hands. Okay, there you go. I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, what number is this? This was 1,000. I'm going to grab number 700 and I'm just going to put a little bit of accent on his nose and hands just to give a little bit of shadow. That's that's all we're going to do is put a little bit of shadow on his nose. Okay. We're going to take a black marker and we're going to color in his eyes just so his little eyes pop out a little bit. Then he got his eyes. Now we're going to get our puff paint. This is in the new mini catalog. Remember we had this a couple years ago. It's called Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. And what it is, is it's some sort of special paint that when heat hits it, it puffs it up. So what we're going to do, you're going to shake that really well. Shake it really well. And we are going to put it on his beard. You're going to put a nice little coat. It's got a nice fine tip there. See that? So you can kind of use that to push it around. We're going to put a nice little thick coat on his beard here. Go around his mouth. You don't really need to go under his nose. That's kind of a really small spot. 
and I think if you put it that far up there, all it's going to do is cover his mouth. Because it does expand. So all I'm doing is putting this on his beard, a nice little coating and smoothing it out a little bit. Okay. Now, just so I don't burn myself, I'm going to bring in some tweezers and I'm going to heat up my heat tool and then okay. so let that warm up and then just heat up that paint and you'll see it takes it a couple seconds but you'll see it start to puff up Goes. It's starting to dry, so it'll start to puff now. It's starting to puff up a little. Just keep doing it. You'll see the shiny, the shiny of the wet go away, and then you'll see it really start to puff up. Just about got it. Look how cute that is. He's got a puffy, soft beard. How fun is that? It just, I thought it was a cute idea myself. So, okay, let's do our quick background. So we've got our, our, uh, card base. I got something to make here. So we've got our card base. We've got a couple of blending brushes. And we're going to bring out our Parakeet Party and our Balmy Blue. And I'm just going to kind of pick the middle where I want my scene. Remember, when you're using your blending brush, maybe tap off a little before you hit your paper to avoid you know, splotches. We're just going to make a little round area here. This is a quick way to do a, you know, kind of a cute background. Some blue sky here. And when you put the characters on it, it really kind of pops. Making a nice little blended balmy blue sky here. Okay, let's bring in some of our parakeet party. Tap it off. And all we're going to do is down here. Okay, you can go over a little bit of that blue if you want. It's not going to hurt it. I'm going to make a little grassy area right here, just a hint. Okay, I'm going to add just a little more blue, I think. Oh, look at that. Alrighty. That is your whole background. How simple is that? All right. Doesn't look like much there, but when you put the uh, images on it, it's really going to pop. You'll see. Put that away. Now, let me grab my glue. I'm going to just glue my mushroom down, but what I want to do and this you don't have to do but it's a th thing i've got see how you put that and you see the white outline so much you know what i do with that i take my marker this is my balmy blue and i'm just gonna hit that white edge a little bit 
it's not going to be as easy to see on the left side because see we're faded on color over there so i'm going to take that i'm also going to take my little my little gnome here i'm going to do the same thing with him on that white die cut edge you can do this with the sponge too if you wanted to now I'm going to grab my parakeet party marker and I'll do the bottom where he's sitting on the grass that's it that's all you got to do it just kind of gets rid of that bold stark so let's put our mushroom down I'm just going to glue it straight down And see how doing that blue edge just kind of got rid of that real stark now him we want to pop up i'm just going to add a couple dimensionals all righty i'm going to then put him right about there I know I've been off the grid a little bit, but I'm in the process of getting set up with my VA care. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of, it's a lot of to-do stuff and nothing happens fast when it's related to the government. So I've been kind of running at both ends. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in our stamparatus. But I'm hoping I'll be back in the craft room some more because I have a lot of new stuff to play with, don't I? And since he's peeking under his hat, I thought that the greeting that says your kindness does not go unnoticed, like he's peeking at you, I love that. So we're going to put that right below in here. And we're just going to stamp that in black. And we have a runner that went the lid to my ink. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let me find my ink lid. Oh, I guess we'll be looking for it later. Okay, let's put this on. And then just for a little bit of, you know, bling bling, because you know we going to do bling bling on our cards, I'm going to add a couple of these fine sparkle gems. They are so pretty. But look, they're kind of flat. They're flatter than our normal. And I kind of like that. Let me find my take your pick tool. It is here amongst this somewhere, but I don't know where at the moment. So, do you guys see it? I don't see it. So we're just going to use our... I'm going to take... This is... It doesn't really say what colors it is. It looks like the new uh, in colors is what it, what it looks like. So we're just going to add a couple little gems on here. And boom, there is your adorable little numb card. Now you can step it up. I'm gonna step it up. I used the stitch with whimsy on it. Did my greeting white embossed on black and then put it on the sweet, um, uh, sweet sorbet uh, cardstock. So you can step it up just a little bit. Oh, these, I forgot to show you what that is. We now have, oh, where did I do it? In the new mini are these really cool enamel dots. Well, it's, it's um, pearlized enamel. So what you would do, um, 
I'm going to go ahead and just put another one on here just because. So you have these and it's it's a thick uh, enamel and what it'll do is it'll actually create your blade. Okay, so all you're going to do is I hold mine straight up and down, squeeze it a little, start your dot, and then just pick up, okay? It looks like a little Hershey Kiss right now. See that? But as it dries, it'll flatten out a little bit. But look at that. You make your own bling. Those little enamel dots. So they have that. That came in the mini. And it's got real red. Uh, black. I love that idea. And it's got a pearlized white. Nice. So you can make your own little embellishments on your cards or you can you know put them on images and like you could take the white right here and do the dots on your mushroom how cute would that be right so that is my first haul from the new mini and celebrations and our fun little gnome card and i just wanted to pop in and show that stuff to you and let me know if if you don't get your catalog, if you're a customer of mine, I did send out, um, I think I sent out close to 70 catalogs. But if I missed you, please email me, let me know, I will get them to you. You'll get the mini catalog. Here's our seasonal mini catalog. This one is July to December. And our celebrations, it only lasts from July to the end of August. Every $50 order or $100 order, you can earn free items, okay? You don't wanna miss that. So, in the next few days, I'm insisting that I get in my craft room and play. I am so tired of messing with doctors and everything involved in that. So, I'm gonna craft, I'm gonna play, and I think right now, when I end this video, guess what I'm going to play with? I'm going to play with that Santa train set and paper there. So stay tuned. We're going to have some more cards and some more fun. I hope you all have a very happy stamping day. Bye-bye now.